Hi, this is The Business Guy. The biggest thing that's going to boost your business income is to learn how to sell, how to persuade. So what makes someone want to buy from you? In this video, we're going to go over the six most powerful weapons of influence that you need to know to put more money in your pocket. One of the best books I've ever read on being more persuasive is Robert Caldini's Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion. In the book, Caldini boils down the key ingredients into the following weapons of influence, and here they are. Reciprocation, commitment and consistency, social proof, liking, authority, and scarcity. Now we'll cover those in detail, but let me first give you a quick example. Here I strive to give you tremendous value. And since you've probably already subscribed to other channels, and over 26,000 people have already subscribed to this one, and since we're both business-minded, we probably have a lot in common. After all, I'm the CEO of a multi-million dollar organization, and this video will be over soon, so you might as well like and subscribe while you still have the chance. See there? I just used all six of them, so now's your chance to prove that they work. So here are the six weapons of influence in detail, and watch all the way through because mastering these six tools will put more money in your pocket faster than anything I know. Weapon of influence number one, reciprocation. We are obligated to give back to others the form of behavior that they have first given to us. Essentially, thou shall not take without giving in return, Robert Caldini. To prove this, Caldini cites an infamous social experiment. In 1974, sociologist Philip Kuntz sent out 600 Christmas cards to complete strangers. Kuntz received over 200 mostly enthusiastic and thankful Christmas cards in return. Why did so many people respond to a stranger? In short, it's the rule of reciprocation. People are conditioned to follow the rule of give and it shall be given to you. That's why so many great businesses give little gifts, a bottle of water, free coffee, free information, because people feel more obligated to give back in return. Key takeaway, an individual is more likely to make a purchase if you give something to them first. A little gift, helpful information. So make sure you give value and clearly communicate the mutual benefit of what you're offering. Weapon of influence number two, commitment and consistency. When we make a commitment, we feel obligated to fulfill it. When we commit to something, we like to justify it. In our business of protecting assets from lawsuits by setting up asset protection trusts and other tools, here's an example. You're already paying for automobile insurance, and that's just for your car. Why not protect your entire net worth? In car sales, you can say, you're already driving a car to work. Why not drive one that you can enjoy? In real estate, this house payment is only $400 a month over your budget. You're probably already spending that every month going out to dinner. Key takeaway? Find out what they're already doing and show how it is consistent with what you're offering. Weapon of influence number three, social proof. Human beings are tribal by nature. If we're uncertain of how to act, we take cues from those around us. To demonstrate how strong this urge is, Caldini references an experiment where one or more people in a public setting suddenly fix their gaze up at the sky. Steadily, a growing number of bystanders would join them, looking up to see what the others are looking at, until crowds would eventually form, all of them looking at nothing. That's social proof in action. It's the same with clapping or cheering or decorating. People tend to go with the crowd. Key takeaway? Tell stories about how many other people have already made the great decision to buy from you and your company. Be sure to show how many happy customers have already taken you up on your offer. Saying yes to you is expected and normal for people like them. Weapon of influence number four, liking. There's a company called Pet Relocation. They help pet owners all over the world move their pets from country to country. The company's About Us page is full of staff bios, and every bio emphasizes not only the staff's love of dogs, but also humanizes managers and employees by including hobbies and other personal details. Often we end up buying a particular product simply because we like the person selling it to us. The best way to make people like you? Find something that you have in common. 
Here's the key takeaway. No matter how wonderful your brand, be likable. Find something that you and the prospect share in common. Feelings of friendship toward you are likely to be much more powerful than your product alone. Weapon of influence number five, authority. Ultimately, selling a product is all about building trust. And in order to be trusted, you need to position yourself and your brand as an authority. Caldini writes about the sense of duty to authority within all of us. People tend to obey authority figures. Accessories such as job titles, for example, doctor, attorney, and uniforms infuse a sense of authority, making the average person more likely to accept what the person says. You can see this in commercials that, for example, use doctors to front their ad campaigns. Another example is our website, where we have Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, giving us an endorsement. In addition, you can make your own credentials clear as well as that of your company. Our company started in 1906. I've been in the business for 31 years and we have attorneys on staff. Have you been in business for long? Do you have an advanced degree? Has anyone your prospect knows used your services? Don't expect them to read your mind. Make it clear. An authoritative identity is built by demonstrating professional credentials and expertise yours, your companies, and your customers. Key takeaway, build badges of trust. Make your presentation sharp and professional, and then sprinkle content with cues that reinforce your professional knowledge and expertise and that of your company. Testimonial quotes and case studies can really boost conversion rates. And if you've collected positive feedback from others, be sure to talk about it. Weapon of influence number six, scarcity. People desire things they perceive as less available. That's the principle of scarcity. I think we have one more in the back room. We only have one car on the lot in this color and somebody else is interested too. There are plenty of other examples of the principle of scarcity in action with e-commerce. For example, sites like booking.com tells customers how many people have viewed the hotel, how many have booked and how few rooms are left. Tactics such as these heighten the anxiety over the possibility of missing out, generating a sense of urgency to act as soon as possible. Protect yourself before it's too late, before you get into a car wreck, or before somebody sues you and takes everything you own, for example. Key takeaway, you can use scarcity for promotion periods when you drop the price or offer extra services for a limited period of time, a week, a weekend perhaps, to drive activity. In summary, Caldini's six weapons of influence are essential tools that every business professional should master. Next time you encounter a prospect, be sure to put some or all of the above weapons of influence to use. Using them could be the difference between turning them into clients or having them hang up the phone or walk out the door. And since you've already gotten this far, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's your last chance before this video ends. See you next time. This is The Business Guy.